A recent federal court ruling regarding a secret grand jury investigation inadvertently linked a wire fraud investigation to former Mayor Kasim Reed. No candidate is named in the ruling that details alleged personal purchases of things like lingerie, jewelry, resort travel, and furniture totaling less than $9,000 made with campaign funds. Senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell says after reviewing the original ruling, which was later redacted, one expenditure matches exactly to the penny, a campaign expense authorized by former Mayor Reed. We reduced crime by 33%, and we did it in a way that was consistent with our values. In a recent interview with Fox 5, former Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed touted his success with battling crime in Atlanta. What we didn't know then was the new mayoral candidate is seemingly under FBI investigation for old campaign donations. The allegations surfaced in this ruling about a secret investigation of possible wire fraud in a political campaign. That campaign lawyer was fighting to keep from testifying before a grand jury. But an 11th Circuit Court of Appeals three-judge panel ruled he would have to testify. The ruling, which was posted online, didn't identify the candidate, didn't name the office held, but it spelled out a months-long investigation of wire fraud and a battle by federal prosecutors to get the unnamed politician's campaign attorney to testify. Though Kasim Reed's name never appears in the ruling, there was one clue that he was the unnamed politician. The ruling contained a list of questionable items that appeared to be personal and were bought with the politicians' donated campaign money. That's illegal. It detailed a $179 purchase at a lingerie store, $4,200 at a vacation resort, $2,000 at a jewelry store, and $1,000 at a Caribbean resort. None of these items were disclosed on the politicians' campaign reports as required by law. But one item was disclosed on a campaign report, a $1,234.47 purchase of furniture from an online retailer, which was shipped directly to the candidate's mother. That purchase was disclosed on a campaign report as office supplies, according to the ruling. The I-Team found an expenditure during the same time frame for the exact same amount down to the penny on the 2017 campaign disclosure of then-Mayor Kasim Reed. Mayor Reed's campaign attorney at the time was Jeremy Berry. Berry's attorney, Scott Grubman, confirmed that Mr. Berry received a subpoena to testify as part of the government's ongoing investigation if and has been told to numerous to times by the U.S. Attorney's to Office to that he is not subject of the investigation but is simply a witness. For years, the Fox 5 I team reported on FBI and IRS raids, agents hauling potential evidence out of City Hall, threats made to a potential witness, and a jaw-dropping number of top city officials and city contractors who pled guilty to a variety of federal crimes or are awaiting trial all under the administration of Mayor Kasim Reed. We tried to reach Kasim Reed and his team, but had no luck. After the 11th Circuit Court ruling was filed, stating the campaign attorney would have to testify, a strange thing happened. That office supplies expense that matched former Mayor Kasim Reed's campaign reports was removed from the filing. It's no longer there. And the now not so secret grand jury investigation continues. From downtown Atlanta, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.